Okay. Actual patch notes. So Zen got a big nerf, which we I, I can't wait to get to. But before we get to that, uh, we'll just go in order. Let's start with Doomfist. Doomfist minimum damage mitigated required uh, to enable or to empower Rocket Punch reduced from 100 to 90. That's kind of huge. That's actually kind of a huge change. Um, because remember, there was also uh, the power block nerf where it, instead of blocking 90% of damage, it's 80% now. Uh, so you'll be taking more damage already. So you're taking more damage and the requirement is now lower, which means that you should have power block punch like pretty consistently. Uh, it seems that they're doing this to try to like, I would say like lower or raise the skill floor a little bit um, to make it easier to do everything at once and to use this full kit. Uh, movement speed penalty while blocking reduced from 50 to 35%. I don't think that's really that major. Uh, but here's the big one. Now deals damage to all enemies knocked back instead of only the first impact or target impacted. So why is this a big deal? One, current patch before this. If you hit multiple targets, only the one you directly hit took damage. Everyone else just got knocked back. Now everyone gets damaged, which is big because, well, now you have the potential to damage multiple targets. Two, combine that with this first part where you should be getting your big punch uh, more often, meaning the empowered rocket punch had a larger hitbox and could send more people back at once. So instead of only hitting one person and knocking everybody back, you hit everybody and knock everybody back. So you have multiple targets to choose from. Everyone's stunned. Everyone's taking damage. I think this might be the Doomfist Goomba Stomper. Like I, I haven't even tested it yet, and I think this is might be arguably like some, one of the most like insane buffs that you could have given them. We'll see. Uh, Junker Queen radius reduced. Uh, commanding shout radius reduced from twenty to fifteen meters. Fair. Allied bonus health now decays over its duration. Fair. Maximum duration increase from 4 to 5 seconds. Okay. And radius reduced from 6 to 5 meters. I think I called this nerf, like, almost to a T. I think I called that the the, the ultimate would get uh, nerfed. And the shout would get some type of nerf as well. Um, but this was the one I was, like, kind of, like, a little bit on the fence about. So it looks like instead of, like reducing the speed or the health they've actually made it decay and then up the uptime and made the radius smaller so jugger queen gets a double nerf um yeah, the only problem with this is i think jugger queen her damage is really just like not that good compared to other tanks um when we were playing both in twitch rivals and svb's tournament yesterday nobody really played jugger queen because jugger queen is behind uh, nobody played ryan either uh no surprise and i don't think you'll see anyone play Ryan and Overwatch League after the next patch kicks in as well. Uh, even Chatty and, and London Spitfire because Ryan is going to be terrible because that armor nerf was just... I don't know who, who authorized that, but don't know what you're thinking. Um, but yeah, uh, Queen doesn't do enough damage to be threatening without having her like constant uptime of like heal and speed and being like, you know, going in and, and jumping out of fights and like keeping all of her teammates alive as this like pseudo brawl tank. She's not really like a high damage tank, but she also doesn't have good CC. Uh, the knife is really hard to hit in a lot of ways. So, oh, he played Ryan. Yeah, how'd that go? Oh, he played Ryan for the first two minutes and they almost got full held and they had to swap to Winston. Yeah, I remember that. Um. Anyways, Cam's being covered. Wait. Oh, here we go. I don't know why that was there, but cool. Uh, also make me a little bit bigger. Cool. Yeah, I had, to, I had to like move all this stuff around the other day when I was doing some, um, podcast. So, my bad. Anyways, <clears throat> um, I mean, you don't really need to look at my face when I'm talking about a lot of this stuff anyways. So, it's not that big a deal. Uh, Arisa. Arisa actually got some pretty nice buffs. Uh... Fortify now disables uh, headshot damage again. Can't can't figure out whether we want to do this or not. Um, if I'm going to speak candidly, the reason why Arissa is struggling is because why Arissa was so good before was she could do everything at once. She could shield and shoot and pull and fortify. She could have constant uptime. That's no longer the case because she doesn't have the shield. She has to absorb the damage herself. 
And then when she goes to Spinny Spear, that stops her from doing damage unless you're hitting people. If you throw the Javelin, well, then you lose your one CC and your most powerful tool. And then the, the cooldown is pretty punishing now because that got nerfed to 10 seconds. Uh, and Fortify, uh, reverting it back to taking critical health, health or no headshots is actually pretty decent because... She doesn't have another way to really mitigate damage. The spin isn't really supposed to be used to mitigate damage. It should be a cooldown eater uh, or an ultimate eater. Uh, not as like a, oh shit, I'm low. I need to use this now, which is what it had kind of become. Um, bonus movement speed increase from 40 to 50. Uh, this ability is, it's so cool, but it just doesn't totally work, in my opinion. So uh, I think Arista will probably be about Ryan level now. Um, with the Fortify buff. This is a pretty significant buff combined with her other buffs that she had got before this. Ryan gets nerfed, Orisa gets buffed. I think that the tier at this low point is like Hog is in the great beyond of the low. Uh, then Orisa has now moved into Ryan and, and Orisa tier are pretty much together, just above shit tier. Uh, then above that is like your, your Diva Junker Queen. Um, Diva being maybe slightly above Junker Queen in some ways. And then the top of the list is everybody fighting with Doomfist, Sigma, Zarya, and Ball. Uh, hard fighting it out. And I think Doomfist is about to become the new king. Who the king currently right now is Sigma. Sojourn receives a pretty uh, pretty decent little nerf. Fire rate increase from 15 to 14 per shots. Okay, I'm with it. Not a bad nerf. Um, uh, good to see. Uh, this is the big one though. Projectile radius now scales with energy level from 0 up to a previous 0.1 meters. So basically, the higher the energy level, the bigger the projectile radius. Uh, what made Sojourn so scary was she charging up to 100 and one-tapping your backline. Uh, what this basically does is stop Sojourn from finishing kills consistently at like 30 to 40 charge. Where she's dueling somebody right now, it's like, it's like they get them to like 50, 40 HP or 40% of their, uh, their health bar. And then headshots them with the railgun to finish them off. So, it is a nerf, yes, uh, but well, it remains to be seen how powerful it is. Sim, charge time increased, or sorry, reduced from 1.2 to 1. Projectile race increased from 4 to 5. Cooldown reduced from 16 to 12. Uh, just straight up buffs across the board. Um, Sim was terrible, so hopefully she's better. And the big one. Zen, shield health reduced from 175 to 150. Having a now total of 200. So here's the hot take time. I haven't been giving many because nobody really listens to me anyways. And I'd rather not just start fights all the time because it gets draining. But uh, the reason Zen was given 225 HP was because of the 10% speed boost to all DPS heroes um, beforehand. So instead of having your tracers and Genjis being the flankers that were really tough to deal with, everyone was low key a flanker to deal with. Um, so Zen was a lot harder to, had a lot harder time staying alive. Uh, with that being removed in this beta for the now 30% ultimate charge stay, Zen loses his 25 HP that he got from that. Uh, but he's still extremely strong in 5v5 format. So... I don't think this kills Zen. I don't think... I think Zen is still very, very, very strong. Um, just not a must-pick anymore. Um, but I actually don't know what else you would pick at this point. Because um, you don't need Bap and Ana. Ana's already arguably the best DPS in the... Or not DPS, best hero in the game. Um, so pick Ana a lot of the times. Uh, Moira... Just got some massive buffs. I think you give people a little bit of time to learn how to use them. You might see a return of Lucio because you'll run Moira Lucio. Um, but I would actually probably wouldn't be surprised if you saw like more like Winston or Ball or Doom. I think Doom will be the big one. I think you'll see like Doom, Moira, Lucio. Um, or even Doom Zen. Actually, actually, I don't know. That's a hard one, actually. That's a harder one. But I, I think Doom will be raid supreme if he doesn't get hold back which I think because we're at the end of the beta that won't happen let's see uh, general bug fixes um, fix crashing on some Xbox consoles no PC crashes my 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 game has crashed like 15 times 
Uh, fix spawn doors. Okay, so that was a fun bug, but that's gone. Fix an issue where a sprint gave 40% movement speed instead of 50%. Okay. Fix an issue where Dragon Blade could sometimes get stuck as active as the duration ended. If you haven't seen this bug, this this was hilarious. Um, you could basically have infinite Dragon Blade. That was awesome. Uh, fix an issue that caused wounds to apply to invalid targets, barriers, ice walls, target. Oh, I thought this was uh, intended. Oh. I guess it makes sense it's not intended. Fix an issue that caused her ability icons to not appeal in the kill feed. Fix an issue where Carnage also applied a Jagged Blade wound effect. Wait, what? Wait, does Carnage... Is Carnage not supposed to have a wound? My throne is where I say it is. <laughs> Embarrassing yourself. Carnage was supposed to do 90 plus 40 bleed. It was doing 90 plus 40 plus 15 bleed. Really? But Carnage was the only part of her kit that actually did damage. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on back, That's not good. So. That's an, it, the, I, regardless, that's a nerf, technically. Uh, it's a, because like, from release to where she is, that is a nerf. Her damage is gonna go down. Her shift. Whoa, let's go win this thing. Um, okay, so it doesn't, it doesn't decrease for her, but it does for her allies. Okay, let's get near some people. Let's explain. So if it was currently doing an extra 15 bleed damage because it was bugged out, if that's now taken away, that is technically a nerf, right? Like, she is, she was never intended to do that extra damage. And I think she already has a bit of a damage issue um, compared to some of the other tanks because she doesn't have hard CC like something like Doomfist does, um, which I think levels out the less damage for Doomfist as opposed to something else. Bleeds were stacking it, so there was the Carnage bleed plus the Jagged Blade bleed. So there was there was two bleeds happening that was not not intended. All right, so health bar uh, decays. So let's take a look. Yep. Not bad. I actually think that's a pretty. I actually think that's a pretty decent change. I wonder how that works though. I wonder if there's like. If you take, let's say you take 50 damage immediately and it starts to decay, do you start decaying down the 50 or does it like give you a second or two of leeway um, because you took instant damage, you know? Like it's supposed to be decaying from like 80, 70, 60, 50, but because you took damage down to 50, does it stop for a sec? I feel like that's a car key question answer. All right. So, Doomfist. Now, I'll probably have to actually play some games to see what this is going to be like. Um, but... I don't think... Can I build up my punch down here? I don't think I can. I don't think I take enough damage. No, I don't. I might need some... I need to grab someone. <clears throat> you can't with killing a junk rat? Oh. Chat, you're so smart sometimes. Chai, Chai, you're so smart sometimes. No great. I take it back. What the fuck are you guys on about? I'll try it one more time. Ah, fuck you. Nah, nah. I'm never. I am never listening to chat again. Never. Okay, so that's the double. Okay, holy shit. Hold on. Double exterminated. Can I actually hit both from sitting in the middle here? No, I can't. Okay. Wait, that hit both. Okay, hold on. You are vulnerable. So, okay, this actually works too. Hold on. So I can hit both of them with this one punch. They both take damage. Oh boy. That's not even the empowered fist. 
Okay. Because the Empower Fist is going to be way different. Alright, someone said it, I was too close. Alright, take it back. Chat is sometimes smart. Alright. So, I don't really need the Empowered Fist that much for this. Um, because we already tested it. But, I just want you to like kind of take a look at the damage of both of these bots when I hit this. And look at how long they're stunned. Because previously, if I hit this punch, only the bot in front of me would take damage, but both would get stunned. Now, <laughs> holy shit. Perfect. So that, that changes the difference between hitting one person for like 100 damage and then hitting two people for 100 damage. Because before, right, what you ended up having to do is when you slam someone on the wall, You'd walk up to them, go click, click, and then you'd try to, like, melee and finish, right? <laughs> but you didn't have enough shots to kill multiple people. Now you could just go click, click, and get two kills. Double kill. Alright, I'll, I'll have to test this out in some games. It's gonna be, it's not gonna look that great in the training range, but I think in practice, it's gonna be insane. Um, Symmetra. Let's see Symmetra really quick. Where is she? Where's Sim? The true enemy of humanity is disabled. I'm sorry, how huh, what? Huh? Wait, wait. Wait, is it, this is a previous change, right? Wait, when did this happen? I know it's not much damage, but like... When, when did this come in? When was the explosion damage? She's always been like that? There is no shot you've always been able to shoot the ground in front of somebody and, and do damage Why to them. Do you struggle against your fate? You can do that in Overwatch 1? Okay. Alright, well the, the real change is actually the hit the size of these uh, right clicks. So... The projectile is slightly bigger. Um, Perfection. See how much I can push this. I think I'm pretty much at the limit. Yeah, so that's the limit right here. Still, small increase. Teleporter got a small, uh, or actually pretty sizable buff to 12 seconds now. Um, how long does it last? Does the TP last still 10 seconds? Wait, so you can basically have unlimited TP uptime. My teleporter is online. So the teleporter lasts 10 seconds. It's got a two second cooldown now. <laughs> teleporter online. Huh. We move Interesting. Quickly. Okay. Um What else? What else? Used to be permanent, so I mean you're not wrong. I think the permanent one is still stronger. Um, however, though, that's just you know kind of silly. Uh, what else got to change? Let me look. Zen was the 25 HP. I I guess I can show that. Oh, Sojourn. So Sojourn was the one I wanted to go over. Okay. We're in this together. Sojourn. All of us. Okay, so Sojourn currently, if you charge it up to 100, has a pretty decent sized hitbox. That ha that headshot hit. Fell by our health bar. Try again. Headshot. Oh. A little too far. Ready? Headshot. Boom. Oh. It's... So, with her new change, 25, the same distance, does not hit. 55, hits. I'd stay down. 40, 46, 
It's... Twenty-five though. Hold on. I'm gonna retest this. I have to retest how far away I can get it. The change doesn't seem that significant, but it should be. Alright, so I'm looking basically at the V like a little un above the V of that rock. Railgun charged. The V? The V pretty much hits. Okay. 21. The V does not hit. 50 at the V does not hit. Not your finest hour. 81 at the V. So, it does scale. Um, it's not as significant as I thought it would be, uh, but low charges are going to be like borderline impossible to hit now. But it's definitely not as major as I thought it would be. In testing, at least. So, interesting. Interesting. I think she might need a little bit more than that, to be honest. And then lastly is Zen. Um, Discord, we will find tranquility. Zen is Zen is brought back his glass cannony a little bit um, with the twenty five health decrease, um, but I unfortunately the Zen problem is going to commence for a long time just because there's no support that can do this. And just, now you have found peace. That just isn't. Didn't even need it. Rest your soul. <sighs> That's not easy to hit either. I mean, I watched ML get a 4K on Zen yesterday. Literally, he actually did, like, he actually unironically did this to Emong. down a corridor and just deleted him full HP and 100 charge the problem is this thing this thing is the big problem to be honest with you because it's not one of those like it's not an ability that like you're actively using you know MS7 is not the rule so anytime I pre present any evidence at all there's going to be an excuse you do understand that right no matter what I say, there will be an excuse, period. I, that is the rule of Overwatch. There is never technically a wrong answer because you can always argue that something else could technically work. You could always argue that that dive works. You could always work, argue that Goats was beatable. Goats was beatable by ball comps with, with four DPS. It happened before. Shanghai Dragons did it right at the end, but why did they still change it anyways? Why? Because it was way easier of a composition to run. You could have a lot more synergy with loss, a lot less uh, coordination, which is what Zen Discord is. You have unintended coordination just by doing this to the tank. In Overwatch 1, it made sense because having two tanks, you had this chance where both of the tanks didn't have a chance to have Discord at the same time. You would have to change it from tank to tank depending on who you're trying to kill. In Overwatch 2, there is only one single high HP frontline target. You know what you do in Overwatch 2? This is what you do in Overwatch 2. Oh, there's their tank. Yep, shooting everybody else, shooting everybody else, shooting everybody else. Oh, shots on their tank. Oh, shooting everybody else, shooting everybody else. That's why Discord is broken in Overwatch 2. Because there's only one tank to frontline. There is only one person who can be doing and absorbing all the damage for the rest of the team. Right? So. I'm just saying. 
yeah, of course, ML ML is a, is a far ending you know thing. But you also don't balance from the bottom up. You balance from the top down. So things aren't you don't balance things. So at, uh, if someone can barely hold a mouse, they can fucking get six kills a game. So then if someone actually knows how to hold a mouse, they can spawn trap you. Like that doesn't make sense. So this is the big problem. This is the big problem, in my opinion. But regardless, though. Um, I hope to see for next patch. I like to include this now as a little little extra. Um, I don't know what Arissa needs, uh, but Arissa needs something. I don't know if Arissa needs more armor. Um, not more health overall, like not more than 500, but like more armor, period. She's just too weak once she loses her cooldowns. Uh, Ryan, Ryan, give skin back the hundred armor. He was already not very good. He was already like, I, I, I really, I actually, I'm starting to get like a little cynical at this point. I'm really tired of these knee jerk nerfs or buffs to other heroes because they get a higher play time. Overwatch League, there was only one team that started running Ryan. Like a couple teams experimented in the beginning, but then all of them dropped it except one because it's not that good and it's hard to run. It takes a lot to run it well. Winston also got nerfed, but then you look at things like Sigma, who has like a 95% pick rate with Ball in Overwatch League, has not been touched. Ball is basically the same character he was in Overwatch 1, which was much more of a solo disruptor tank. No touches. Hog is fucking terrible. I don't like Hog. I don't like Hog in any way, shape, or form. You guys know this. Hog is literally left. Hog is Hog is on the side of the curb with a sign saying that he'll he'll do anything for work. Like, it, it, Hog is. You play Hog in this current met in this current game, you might as well just have left. Um, Soldier got really heavily nerfed. Didn't really need it. Um, I think he went from twenty to eighteen. Give him nineteen. Put it back in the middle. Uh, Bastion needs a little bit of help. Uh. Who else needs some help? Junk got a lot of buffs. I, I feel like Junk's really strong. Um, the Moira change is just unnecessary. Um, she's not... I, I, I feel like it's we're getting into a weird category there where it's like characters that are like very basic where they do damage and they heal now are playmakers. And the playmaker isn't like an active playmaking ability. I think this is what Seagull said. Seagull put made a really good point is Moira's playmaker isn't to actively make a play, Humanity it's to deny so somebody else's play. And I just, I, I don't think that's great, great design. That's not really fun. Cause that, it's like lamp. It's that, like this, Stay near the another day, and this another battlefield. are unironically the Humanity same ability. The shot. only difference is that I this one has to be key. timed and hit the target somewhat because it's an AOE explosion. Uh, but Lamp is more of a put it around the corner and hope for the best. As long as the Lamp doesn't die, you'll be fine. Type of deal. Because, like, come on, man. Come on, dude. So, uh, no, Re Reaper isn't very good either. Reaper's kind of... Right, Reaper needs some help as well. But, but yeah, that is your most likely, I think, final patch. I think the beta ends on Monday. Um, so that was probably your final patch for Overwatch 2. I will say though, let me, I wanna say this really fast. I think this beta was tremendously better than the first one, both in the UI and how the gameplay felt. The game looked cleaner, it felt cleaner, it ran better. I say that as my computer crashed like 15 times running it. We'll figure that out, I'm sure. Um, but overall, though, it was really good. And I am hopeful, not only for October, but I'm hoping there's a third beta, which I'm, I am I think that I, I have this suspicion there's going to be a third one. There's too much time between this beta ending and October. So I'm hoping there's going to be a third beta. And I'm hoping that we're going to see things get even better from here. Because the improvement in just like that two-month span was amazing. And I'm excited to see where this goes next.